The butter being put out as a homage to Philip Hughes, who tragically passed away after suffering a fatal injury while playing a game he loved. The short pitch delivery that claimed Hughes' life has been bowled many times at Uganda's premier cricket ground in the Goko Oval. Thankfully, no batsman has been claimed by the so-called bouncer. They have been close shaves though. Joining me is a batsman who got on the wrong end of a bouncer but lived to tell the tale. Uh, it's good to have you, Dennis. If you could just talk us through your experience with uh, the bouncer. Bouncers usually, bowlers use them to, you know, scare you or something like that. So a bouncer is a scary ball. And now, uh, if it is traveling at more than 130 k's per hour, then it is even worse. So a bouncer is, uh, is something bowlers just use to intimidate batsmen most times and unsettle them. It doesn't get you out, but it will, you know, it will freak you out. Everyone fears pace, that's what you normally say. So a bouncer is one of those things that will not, won't get you out, but will try and you know, unsettle you, make you lose your concentration. So that's mainly it about a bouncer. So this is what a batsman uses to shield himself from uh, the artillery of a pace bowler. Dennis, uh, how safe is uh, a helmet? A helmet is... It is, it is safe. I think it just gives you that comfort that you're, you're protected, but anything can happen. Uh, we were talking through it with the other Sam, uh, I think last week after a few his incident with the guys, and we thought that a helmet is designed in such a way that if the ball is coming at you, you're supposed to like stay there, and then the, when the ball hits you anyway, you'll be safe. But if you deviate a bit, then the helmet itself can be harmful to you. Because if you turn without ducking well, the ball can hit the grill and the grill will cut you itself. Most times that's what happens, that's what happens. So a helmet gives you that, the confidence that you're protected, but it's not everything. Do you think a cricket should adopt a much kinder and uh, gentler tone? Uh, no, no, not exactly. I, Jack Callis wrote an article and he said that uh, rugby players get very bad injuries, but they didn't take away the scrum, they'll still go in there. Uh, they are ba the bad corners haven't gone away in Formula One. So I think the cricket has tried, the, the governing body has tried. They used to ball I used to ball six bouncers in an over. But now at least it has been reduced to one, then eventually two. So there's some kind of protection. Uh, back in the day you can imagine if you're facing Britain and the guys ball six bouncers to you, hey, it is you you're ducking every other ball. So they, they've tried. We, we, we can't get away, we can't do away with everything. 